I have this circuit board of an indoor mini split air conditioning unit, and it is an inverter board. The display of this circuit board is problematic. Sometimes, it shows the display half, and sometimes, it shows fine. And I don't understand what is going on. So let's check what the fault is in it. Some other technicians have soldered these points on the board and tried to repair it, but he has not been able to fix the problem. All the transistors and the diodes, other than these ULN 2003 Darlington ICs, were been removed and then installed back in the circuit board. So, let's see whether we can fix it. I have power on the circuit board. The display of this circuit is flashing something like this. The half digit on display is turning on. The run light on the display board is flashing one time. Sometimes, the display shows the complete digits as well. I have powered off the circuit board from electricity. It is not showing the actual error on the circuit board, I have tried many times. I will plug the electric plug and check what does it do now. The display is not showing at all. I'm shaking the connector, and then it shows the completed digits on the display. The wire connections of the connector are loose. It is showing an E0 error code. I will explain to you why this E0 error code is showing on the display, and how will we rectify this problem. I have installed the display circuit on the top cover of the mini split. The E0 error is shown on the display. Run is written here. The run light is flashing one time. Now I will try to figure out what this error means. This mini split air conditioner is of an, an unknown brand. But I know that this circuit board is from Medea Company. They manufacture air conditioning as well as circuit boards. This error means when this IC in the circuit board goes bad, there is a short circuit, or the voltages do not pass through it. The circuit board will show the E0 error on the display. This IC is the EEPROM of this circuit board, known as Electrical Erasable Read-Only Memory. When the circuit board is powered on, and the electricity is passed through it, the program is stored in this IC. In simple words, the program or function as a user you are using is stored in the memory of this IC. When you turn on the circuit board, EEPROM shares it with the microcontroller, and the same program you had set is automatically turned on. Any changes you make in the settings of your air conditioner are stored in this EEPROM memory. This is how the EEPROM works in the circuit board of the air conditioner. I will tell you about its pin configuration. You can see the pin configuration of the IC by pausing the video. The EEPROM should have a minimum of 2.5 to 5.5 volts maximum. Then, this EEPROM will work well. Otherwise, it will not. The pin numbers 1, 2, 3, and 4, the VSS, Next is E, 2, then not connected pin. And again, the not connected pin. All four pins are connected to the ground. We should get a positive 5 volts on the VCC pin of this IC so that it may operate. If the voltages are passing through the IC, I will tell you what to do later in the video. I have powered on the circuit board. I will check the voltages on the 8 and 1 number pin of the IC. 5 volts are passing through the IC. This means that this EEPROM is short-circuited, or the program has been corrupted. I will reprogram the IC and install it back in the circuit board. The circuit board has been fixed now. I will pass electricity through it to show you. The display is also okay now. I have fixed the wires. When the circuit board was problematic, its own and this universal remote were not working on this circuit board. I will turn it on with the universal remote. It has turned on. The temperature on the display is 17 degrees, and it is working in cool mode. Let me explain how I fixed it. See, its blower motor has started to work. This is its EEPROM IC. When I installed this IC in the programmer, it was not able to detect this IC, which means that the IC is short-circuited externally. This is why the circuit board was not working. I already had the program of this circuit board. I installed the same program in a new IC and then installed it in the circuit board. The results are in front of you that the circuit board has started to operate normally. Click on the left or right thumbnail to watch the next videos. And subscribe. Thank you.